Hello everyone, this is John Crate, and we're back in Fallout 76. Today, build a floor, wall, or roof. Really got to step up the legendary kills. Oh, I suppose I should get my food down in my gut here, too. The view from these mountains is the next best thing to space. You got a mission for us? You do. Thank oh, you. You're the best. To think what the USSA put us through. Even though she's an AI, Lena deserved that second chance. Fungus soups, some omelets, a lot of rad toad eggs, Jesus. We never did look at uh, what the legendaries that our new friend gave us last time. So let's see what we, if there's what we want to keep. We've got an overeaters, sturdy raider right arm. Mm. Mm. Move out of the way, mittens. I petted you a lot already. Always, you need pets all the time. Move out of the way. Sometimes I think. Thank you. I woke wow. up in a pile of smoldering debris. My guards are much younger than mine. And over time, well, that stranger isn't a stranger anymore at all. Wood right leg. Don't care about that. I don't believe in love or fate or any of that, but I do know that. Okay, weapons. Assassin's Pipe Pistol. Pretty sure we don't need that. A punk bloodied puncturing power fist. Cool Slayer's Cry Lighter. I'll have to think about that one. So this is the one we bought. This says 177 damage. This says 135. What does our regular shotgun do? 58. 
So we've got Zealot's Power Fist. Imagine that I would share a home with. Oh, here, let's get rid of some stuff first. Wonderful. So far, it's looking like nobody wants to do any daily ops on this one, on this server. stuff we don't need, so let's get rid of this. shotguns as well as I wonder about. This is max damage. See how I like this one. Reminder. Meantime, any attempted five finger discounts will be reclaimed and paid for with said fingers. bits to stab people with. You may find some here. I don't just have any regular Nuka-Cola, huh? Now in stock, goods acquired through questionable means. Get your rating supplies here, or don't. I don't care. It's 
No, I didn't want to sell that. Here before your next kill. It's not worth buying back. Note to the Gormans. Human flesh is not acceptable tender here. Probably gonna have to server hop here. So meat week is going to be next week. It'll be the first meat week that I ever participate in. Most of the time because that, I've said before, but this is around the time that I kind of take a break from the game. But I don't know. I don't think I will. So I should be around for meat week. So I'm not really sure what to expect. I read a little bit about it cause in, uh... Cause Bethesda just had their new Inside the Vault. Campfire Tales? Is there anyone doing it? No. I just slept for like tw for like eight hours. I got home from work, let the cats out for a little bit, and then and ate something, and then I just went to bed. And then I woke up a few times, but I just kept going back to sleep because I was tired. And then it ends up being this late slash early. Because it's almost but what time is it right now? I think when I woke up, it was like 12, 1230 or so. I don't got my phone on me. Those raiders are just out there waiting for a chance. Finally. Someone with the guts to help. We had a medical. Uh, if you can get it back, we. Yeah, I know. Excellent. I can show you up. Sunnies provides meager sustenance for a meager price. Give him that. Okay. Maybe some extra patrols over there. There's a few people. 
you'll join Campfire Tales. So the events are not going to be a problem. With the, if, if we complete this, I think it said we had 7 out of 10 for the week, so this would be 8. So yeah, we'll easily get the 10 events that we need. It's the legendary creatures that are the ones that are we behind on. Let's equip one of our new shotguns. Oh, there's actually nobody here. There's nobody doing it. Okay, well. Guess we're going to the rusty pick for a minute. Get the uh get our what's the word I'm looking for? Vault steel. I did not see what the hot fix like I didn't see a list of things that the hot fix was supposed to actually fix today. I don't know, I don't start to think it wasn't the loading times though. load times weren't the thing that was fixed. This guy also looking for daily ops, so we might as well join his team. find out just how fast this thing shoots. You 
should know that the other bots in the park are crazy. That's why I only pray when I do. So we can do Dross Toss. Dross Toss and Lucky Monkey. We haven't gotten the, the, the eating one lately. <laughs> That's too bad. Why am I picking up shotgun shells? I don't need them! I only have like 5,000. Mode attract. Procedure say, greetings, customer. Come try my. Oh, hey! ID, Dross Toss. Win prize, Mr. Fuzzy Two. And all, Zach personality not found. Personality module load query. Default personality initialized. Booth ID, Dross Toss, is operational. Please begin action. Toss at target. Dross container for prize, Mr. Fuzzy Tokens. There's one. And there's an actual one. Ha Go and get this one actually through. Yes! I am the Dross Toss King. into the daily op. Buddy, let's... I'll jump in in a minute here, just... I thought we were waiting for a, uh... For a third. Especially because we're dealing with the uplink. Poison hazard and have enhanced perception. Well, let's see if this guy can be one of those super powerful characters who just solos these things. Yes, we're going. Dodge, Brotherhood of Steel. This area is a hotbed of enemy activity, but we've lost connection to the uplinks, providing intel. We need to repair the signal repeater before we can track down the uplinks. 
This way. Yep, like signal's starting to come through now. Watch for hostiles. This place is way too twisty. minor pieces. I think 
we got it. I think we got it. Normally I'd say just my teammate did it, but I'd like to think I actually contributed in a meaningful way this time. <laughs> I think. Attention citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. those Yeah, that's all we probably need to do.
five legendary script, that's all. Oh well. Juggernaut's me took. Colossal problem, huh? Doesn't look like there's anyone there. Well, I mean, they probably are, actually already did it. That's, I'm sure that's why there's nobody there. Casual. Jeez, all of these are full, aren't they? Let's server hop just to get a casual team. A casual team. Okay, so what's left for the day? An event, build stuff, kill super mutants, level up. Let's join Breach and Clear already in progress. Don't even want to, uh...
care about the unsealing. I just want to kill some mole people. It's almost over. Last call to unload materials. Sure, let's go open this stupid thing. Since we're here. Also, let's try that, that exploding shotgun. Because this, it, it does explode, but it also heals. So it should kind of counteract my penchant for blowing myself up with these kind of weapons. launcher at the bayonet. That's about the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> So we can 
can kill some super mutants. damage and all that. That's not the problem. It's just I gotta be real close and an explosive weapon that's not what I want. So let's see if I can uh, modify it when I get a chance. So I, get back to I splatter your Thanks. brains! 
That's done. <laughs> Gotta go to Managa to get the weapons case. Hopefully nobody drops a nuke on us while we're there. See, so yeah, I'm going to switch back to my regular shotgun for now. Until I can modify the other ones. Oh, hi, little bub. Hey, little bub. find where this weapons case is going to be. Another miner's key. Legendary place that would help them a lot. I'll take all the glowing meat I can get, that's for sure. No, that's outside the circle. Let's see if 
if I was mole miners, where would I hide a weapon in this case? Now it's inside the bus. Got it. Now up to crater. treasury notes. folks. You sure ain't earning any points just standing around here. You here to help? The usual. Location's on your map. If I gotta repair one more terminal cause some jackass was dicking around, me and Meg's gonna have a few words. Said that. Somebody was like, ooh, I didn't even break a sweat. Who, who said that? Oh, hey, it's already open. I'll take a handmade. Always looking to, uh, break those down. So now both of these other ones are underground.
thought somebody was already here. It's okay. We got it done. Uh, and once we're done with all this stuff for today, I'm going to go back to bed. Let's see. So yeah, I don't even think I'll go after any legendary enemies. I'll try to find any of those. It's just kind of if I find them, I find them. But we'll have to make a push for that on Saturday. So yeah, Saturday's gonna be all about legendary enemies and dropping the nuke. is what I'm looking for. Looking to do the thing for with mac and cheese. Craft. Also, while I'm thinking about it, you know, I'm sure I have gunpowder on me. Sounds like something I would make, though. If I saw it, I'll know for sure. Just the rookie I want. Let's do this one. You serious? Let's take a look then. Quality replacement. Well, I guess I'll put in a good word with. My daddy's probably rolling in his grave knowing Meg brought us here. Hey, some ballistic fiber. Still have to track down. There's quite some bootleg shack. Yeah, let's start. Yeah, let's go to the bootleg shack. Let's well activate this too. If I can get to the boot, there it is. Somebody else is already here. The number of enemies has significantly dropped. Okay, well you've got the medical scanner. Is that why the number of enemies have dropped? Because they were killing each other? It was. complain about that. Oh, that must be what one of our teammates is sharing is the ammo perk. It's gonna say, what the hell? Why did that trigger? <laughs> can I steal from this place?
guard his thing. Raiders are just out. I see you have our missing property. I'm sorry to hear that. Sophie, return the weapons case to Sophia. We've got to build five things. We've got to cook up our food. You know. Modify those shotguns. we got a couple things to do here before we log off. And I go back to bed. Albino red stag is gonna pop up here. Looks like we got him under control. I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just why? I was wondering if you were coming back. <laughs> Every time I see you return from investigating one of these signals, it just makes me smile.
something that enhances our perception. Holding in space forever. Just not right at the moment. Let's turn these guys on just for next time. that I won't forget next time around. Okay, so what all did we need to build? Floor, wall, or roof? I guess we're going to build some floors real quick. Just why? Modify and repair. Nothing to repair, but we do want to modify. Do I even have all the correct perks on? Have gunsmith on. This will up, this will up the damage. I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just why? Now we gotta go with this one. Sights. Uh, these don't really matter. So, I mean... Damage isn't as good, but it does fire faster, so we're going to have to see how that works out. So, in the meantime... We're going 
heavy shotgun. Definitely needs a long barrel. Some sort of page. Just why? You will be shotgun to shotgun twain. Now they're not, you know, instead of those one, three, and two, that might get a little annoying, but whatever. Anything to repair here? I'll take those as well. Throw them in. Oh, that's a little weird. I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in space yeah, forever. Just why? All my 10 millimeter ammo, please. Because I apparently have a ton of it. Come on, take it. Let's just change this to shotgun ammo. Just because that way I can... It'll at least be something that I can use and I can... still feed it to my ammo converter. 
So yeah, I think that that is going to be all for today, or tonight. Yep, we don't got any more daily challenges. How are we on the scoreboard? Oh, they fixed these though. Fallout first, wards are back, back in action. So we are at rank 83. Legendary modules, carry weight boosters. Next is an icon, a perk pack, and some sword paint. And I do have all of the uh, things here. Oh, one thing we can do. Enter a world of stories as weird and wild as man's imagination can conjure. A world where anything is possible. Where science and the mystical combine in surprising and unpredictable adventures. Enter a world of astounding, awesome tales. From the pages of pulp, straight to your radio dial. Join us once again as the Guild of Antiquities journey through time to uncover the mysteries of history. Led by the intrepid Katie Inkwell, listen as we unravel the most exciting enigmas of yesterday and tomorrow. Discover the secrets of lost artifacts and encounter untold danger. Tonight, we bring you Chapter One of Escape from the 42nd Century, another classic tale from the Atomic Chronicles of K.D. Inkwell. We find ourselves in the hallowed halls of the Guild of Antiquities hidden headquarters, far from the prying eyes of the common man. A bold experiment is underway, which hopes to dramatically improve the accuracy of the technology for time travel. Miss Inkwell, uh, please, hand me that chronometric calibrator. The time synchronization crystals are exhibiting very unusual resonation frequencies. Perhaps the new calculations will work after all. However, I, I must be sure. Here you go, Dr. Jenkins. I know this will work. After all, you invented the chronotron backpacks. <laughs> Indeed I did, KD. And these synchronization crystals are at the heart of that technology. Why, without them locking in the coordinates of a specific point of space-time, an operative could be catapulted to a time beyond our comprehension. Ha! <laughs> our operatives all understand the danger, Doctor. Our skills, plus your gadgets, have gotten us out of the tightest spots imaginable. Never you mind theoretical problems. Just help me secure the chronotron to my back, and let's continue the testing. Always appreciate your moxie, KD. Uh, forgive an old man his worrisome ways. I've made some small adjustments to the experimental calculations, and I'll input them whenever you're ready. No time like the present, Doctor. Uh, quite right. A, a quick audit, then. Atomic cells to full. Synchronization crystals aligned. Flux channels cleared. It appears we're ready to engage. Now I must simply enter the new calculations and... The readings! The readings are off the charts! Uh, take off the backpack, KD! Quickly, before... That doesn't sound quite right, Dr. Jenkins. With a crackle and a pop, Inkwell's malfunctioning chronotron backpack spontaneously activates, opening a surprise time portal and drawing her in. Her synchronization crystals unable to lock, she spins uncontrolled through the winding pathways of time. How far has she gone? And what strange unknowns will she find on the other side? So it said that there were four chapters. This is it just that we haven't unlocked the fourth one? Because I've only seen the three. Devilish land, devilish land. 
Mr. Mosley, these bushes sure are thorny, huh? They sure are. Watch your hands. Oh, is that a bird's nest hidden in the thicket? Get out of those bushes, Dan. Now hold on. I'm going to get me an egg. Careful, Mr. Mosley. Those bushes are thorny. Oh. Done it again. Devilish Dan. Mr. Mosley, what are you doing playing in the bushes? Come on into the house, Dan. Time for your favorite snack. Yum yum pure dried whole deviled eggs. Yum yum! Devilish Dan, devilish Dan, don't you do what devilish Dan does. Enter a world of stories as weird and wild as man's imagination can conjure. A world where anything is possible. Where science and the mystical combine in surprising and unpredictable adventures. Enter a world of astoundingly awesome tales. From the pages of pulp, straight to your radio dial, join us once again as the Guild of Antiquities journey through time to uncover the mysteries of history. Led by the intrepid Katie Inkwell, listen as we unravel the most exciting enigmas of yesterday and tomorrow, discover the secrets of lost artifacts, and encounter untold danger. Tonight, we bring you chapter two of Escape from the 42nd Century, Another classic tale from the Atomic Chronicles of K.D. Inkwell. We rejoin our adventure in progress with our hero flung far from her present to a dystopian possible future. A world dominated by a nefarious hive mind of dolphin-human hybrid creatures bent on converting the last remnants of humanity into their soulless collective. Well... This is new, and I don't think this is the past. The History Dex time locator seems to be reading... This can't be right. The 42nd century? Maybe Jenkins' calculations weren't ready to experiment with after all. The Chronotron backpack's time crystals are completely out of sync, and will need quite some time to realign themselves to my point of origin. What is with all the propaganda around here? Are those walking dolphins? All sublimation candidates in Group 5B must report to Station Sigma immediately. Compliance breeds excellence. That sounds ominous. Judging by the posters around here, I'm guessing that this mind organization isn't exactly welcoming of regular humans like me. Better find a spot to lay low as the time crystals resynchronize. Out there, Unabob! We will capture you! Uh-oh. That's not good. Atomic Quill, don't fail me now. That blinding flash bought me a bit of time for my escape, but I need to get out of here in a hurry if I don't want fins. Strange one. Over here. I am the help you need. <sighs> Thanks for saving me. By bringing me to the sewer. Sewer home is the best home. The mine soldiers never venture to these depths. I don't mean to seem ungrateful. This is all so new to me. I haven't had a chance to understand this brave new world. Let's start with something simple. Who exactly are you? I have a name, as I am singular. I am the one called Jason David Braden. Proud unevolved. Leader of the human resistance cell of Sector 19. Are you singular? I'm K.D. Inkwell, the one and only. I have some time to kill before I can return to my home. Uh, Sector. Did I hear something on the loudspeakers earlier about sublimation candidates? Come, there are friends you must meet. We will explain all. Looking forward to finding out more about this wild world of yours. 
A wild world indeed, KD. Lost in time in a land ruled by a heinous collective of genetic monstrosities. Without free will, love, or any vestiges of compassion. Will Inkwell survive long enough for her crystals to sink back to her own time? Will she fall under the ire of mind and be forced to join the assimilated masses of dolphin-human hybrids herself? Who is the resistance of Sector 19? And will she be able to return the noble favor of Jason David Braden? Find out all this and more in the exciting conclusion to Escape from the 42nd Century. Gee, Sally, is that a porta diner guaranteed fresh pie? It sure is, Billy. I always enjoy a porta diner guaranteed fresh pie after dinner. That sure does smell fresh. Where can I get a porta diner guaranteed fresh pie? Well, Billy, you can find a porta diner guaranteed fresh pie at your neighborhood Red Rocket and other fine establishments. How swell! I'm gonna get a porta diner guaranteed fresh pie today. Nothing hits your belly finer than goodies from a porta diner. Guaranteed fresh. Enter a world of stories as weird and wild as man's imagination can conjure. A world where anything is possible. Where science and the mystical combine in surprising and unpredictable adventures. Enter a world of astoundingly awesome tales. From the pages of pulp, straight to your radio dial, join us once again as the Guild of Antiquities journey through time to uncover the mysteries of history. Led by the intrepid Katie Inkwell, listen as we unravel the most exciting enigmas of yesterday and tomorrow, discover the secrets of lost artifacts, and encounter untold danger. Tonight, we bring you Chapter 3, the final installment of Escape from the 42nd Century, the exciting conclusion of this classic tale from the Atomic Chronicles of K.D. Inkwell. Deep under the sprawling metropolis of Sector 19 above, we rejoin our hero in the sewers below, in the company of the human resistance to mine, who seek to sublimate the last of the uninvolved into their genetically altered collective consciousness. Quite a resistance you have gathered here, Jason. These are all the brave warriors of individuality. The mind has control, but we have ourselves. Where did those crazy walking dolphins come from, anyway? The mind was not always. The science of long ago had discovered the secret of the triple helix. Thus was born the seeds of our genetic oppression. Soon after were melded the first minds. From then, war. And those tuna-smelling porpoise people use Station Sigma to convert humans into their ranks, against their will? Station Sigma is the end of many individuals. Caitlin Peyton Braden is there, my sister. Tomorrow she will be singular no more. Your sister is going to be turned into one of those... things? We have to stop them! It's impossible. We are but individuals. Individuals are strong. Together. Individuals strong. Together. Individuals strong. Together. We will follow you. Ready to strike when the moment is right. No time like the present, Jason. 
With her newfound collective of individualists, Katie Eatwell charged forth to the genetic conversion bats at Station Sigma of Sector 19. The battle that ensued will be told for ages, as KD's atomic will was able to disrupt the hive mind link. The chaos that this created allowed for the resistance to easily overpower their dolphin overlords and save Palin Payton Brayden from a life of tuna paste and servitude. Today has blown the winds of change. Individuals strong together. Crystal synchronized. That's my cue. Take care of yourself, Jason David Braden. Farewell, strange one. Inkwell, you're alive. What happened? I was scared half to death. Let's just say I've lost my appetite for tuna sandwiches for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I guess there was only three chapters. I thought they said four at the first, at the start. <laughs> that was charmingly bad. <laughs> oh, there's no commercial at the end of that one? Okay, well, I had to listen to those before I go back to bed. All these are probably refilled in that amount of time. Okay, there we go. So, now we're done for the day. So next time on Fallout 76, you know, the usual stuff. And it'll be a double uh, score double score weekend starting, uh, well, I guess later today. Uh, so, as usual, this is Jean Crate signing out.